Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today I'm going to be sharing my entire Funko Pop collection. I'm rocking my Britney Spears Funko Pop t-shirt from Target. I got it in that awesome exclusive box that they sold. I thought it would be fun to give an update on my entire Funko Pop collection. So before we jump in, I just want to do the disclaimer right now. I would consider myself a Funko collector. However, I just collect for my own enjoyment. I don't collect hoping to like make money off of them. I don't flip them. I don't resell them. I only buy Funko Pops that I genuinely like and from properties that I'm really big fans of. So I just get these for me. Thus, I haven't kept most of them in their boxes. I just think they display better out of the boxes. Some of the rarer ones I have kept in the boxes just to keep them nice. But overall, I take them out. Just getting that out of the way before we begin because I know it might drive some people bonkers that I take them out of the box. But it is what it is. So without further ado, let's check out my Funkos. Starting off, we're going to go with television and my favorite TV show, Game of Thrones. We have Daenerys in her awesome coat from Season 7. And then, of course, I had to have Daenerys on the back of Drogon. And then, naturally, I had to have the Ice King on top of Icy Viserion. And then, of course, Ghost. I have the tiny little keychain Funko for Jon Snow, but full size when it comes to our favorite direwolf. So if you've seen my collection in the past, I am doing the full collection so you'll see repeats that you already knew I had, like the following that I know for sure some people know I have, and that is The Golden Girls, my next favorite show. So we have Blanche, and I love Blanche's little sparkly blouse. Rose. Sophia, and then my forever spirit animal, Ms. Dorothy. And then I have some from animated properties, starting with Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls, Nickelodeon's Cat Dog, and the iconic Rugrats, and we have little Tommy here. I do have Chucky, but he's with a little small Funko keychain. And of course, Reptar, also from the Rugrats. And then of course, had to have Pikachu. So he might have actually stayed in the box, to be honest, but the box is pretty banged up. And again, he's just so cute, and you don't get the full effect when he's in the box. And this is thanks to my friend Janelle for making sure I got Pikachu. Our final cartoon is actually going to lead me into my DC Funko Pops, and that begins with Mr. Freeze from Batman the Animated Series. And then literally all of my other DC Funko Pops come from Wonder Woman the film. We have Steve Trevor, and Steve Trevor really was a buy because he was on like super duper clearance, super cheap, so I picked him up. We have Ms. Dr. Poison. I love this Funko Pop, I think she just looks so cool. Queen Hippolyta. This amazingly awesome Antiope. This is one of my favorite pops in my entire collection, honestly. I just, I love the action pose, shooting those three arrows, hair in the wind. Ah, it's everything to me. And we have Wonder Woman herself. Now this is from Batman v Superman. Princess Diana, before she leaves off to Man's World, having her shield. I think this was a Hot Topic exclusive. And then Wonder Woman in action. And I think I got this from the DC Legions of Collector box. Same thing with both Mr. Freeze and Dr. Poison. But this one obviously is my favorite of the Wonder Woman pops. So from DC, of course, we're going to head on over to Marvel. Starting with Professor X. And this is obviously from the X-Men animated series. And this is the Walmart Black Panther. He kind of has the glittery stuff, I don't know. Uh, but this is from Civil War, Captain America Civil War. And then here is King T'Challa from his own film, Black Panther, when they fight for the throne. We have little toddler Groot when he's holding on to this cool little thing. And I think this was the Hot Topic exclusive version of this guy from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And then we have Hela from Thor Ragnarok. I just, oh, I love this headdress. I love this outfit. I love the detail work on the outfit. I think this pop is pretty great. And then I have Thor himself. 
And this is from Avengers Infinity War. I would have really liked the like glow eye one. I think that one is so sick. But this one's pretty awesome too. It's my favorite Thor thus far. And then of course I have my girl. So we have Storm in her white outfit from the 90s animated series. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive black version of that same white outfit. And then of course, Mohawk Storm. She's my favorite superhero, period. Obviously, I have to get pretty much every rendition that comes out for her. And then finally, the only one I kept in the box for Marvel is Okoye from Black Panther. And as you can see, this is the Funko Shop limited edition. So I've kept it as is for now. And actually, my bad, I do have Deadpool still in the box. This is like sexy time Deadpool that I thought was super hilarious. And then I currently have four Funko Pops from Star Wars, starting with Chewbacca. And this one and the one with the Porg are my two favorites of Chewbacca. I just think his face looks really cute. Then we have R2-D2. And of course, little BB-8 as well. And I finally have Yoda. Now this is my favorite Yoda, except I really like that new one too. So I'll probably be getting a second version of Yoda because he's my favorite Star Wars character. But for now, just this one. And then also for TV, I actually have a couple Looney Tunes that I'm not really sure why I still have in the box. I think it's just for space reasons. But I have Bugs Bunny, who is my fave Looney Tune, and one of my favorite just kind of characters in pop culture ever. And I also have Sylvester and Tweety. I mean, two for the price of one, and Tweety Bird is so cute, so... Okay, we are now moving on to the biggest property of my collection, and that is Disney. So first up, I have Moana. I was obsessed with this film, and I got the Moana that came with this little itsy-bitsy, tiny, but adorable Pua. Then I have the Target exclusive for Lightning McQueen, and I just thought that this metallic, new school paint job was pretty awesome, so... Had to get him. Plus, I think his little face is cute. Then I have Bambi, like, slipping on the ice. I think this one is so cute. The main reason I actually took this one out, to be honest, because you just couldn't see the ice in the box. And it was too cute to just leave it in there, even though it is from the Disney uh, collector's box. And then I have Pluto. And I have this little felt Winnie the Pooh. This was the Hot Topic exclusive flocked version. And of course I have Eeyore. Eeyore is my fave and look how cute. I absolutely adore this Funko Pop. It's like definitely top three for me. I love him so much. And then of course I have Dumbo. Elephants are my animals so Dumbo is my jam and I think he's so cute. Then I have another Disney uh, Collector Box exclusive of Flying Dumbo. Isn't it awesome? I knew I had to have it. I just, I think this is amazing. A couple others that I got from those uh, monthly subscription boxes. We have Maleficent as a dragon, and it's freaking awesome. And then I have Zero with his bone. So this one I have kept in the box thus far. And then we get to like my prized collection, and that is the diamond collection. So this is the Hot Topic line of sparkly, glittery, awesome diamond Disney Funko Pops, starting with Flounder. Tinkerbell, Stitch, Winnie the Pooh, and as you'll notice with Winnie the Pooh and another coming, these are the exact same pretty much as the regular versions, just in the diamond glitter. Dumbo, Belle, Maleficent, Jack Skellington, Snow White, Ursula, of course, Mickey Mouse. And my latest pickup for the Diamond Collection is Baymax. And this is the first time they've done one of these 10 inch pops and he is so flippin' cool. I do know that they just released Mulan and I'll have to pick her up here soon. But for now, Baymax is my latest acquisition. And now for more miscellaneous ones, we have the Grinch from the original short animation, aka my spirit animal this time of year. King Kong, which I actually won in a contest. Ah, so cool. 
and Godzilla. Now, Godzilla is another one of my favorite characters ever. And I just think he is so cute with that ferocious little face. Oh, I love him. And he's also one of the bigger pups. And then this is one of the pets, and I modified him slightly. But this is a little Labrador that I got because he highly resembled my little baby, Rusty, um, who passed away, and I got him before Rusty passed away. And it's like having, having my little baby still with me. Then we have Furiosa, which I got from Hot Topic. And Von Miller from my beloved Broncos. Even when they're doing bad, Von is killing it and my love is still gonna be there. Next up we have RuPaul, legendary drag mother, Ru, the iconic drag race pose. And then another one in my prized collection, we have good old Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. I just love that they made this Funko Pop with that shirt open, the whole ordeal. This one is still in the box because it's awesome and amazing and it might come out one day, but for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it right here, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> This one was one of the hardest ones to get my hands on, honestly. And I got it in the wild at an actual Target, but it was not easy. And then finally, the pop that accompanies this shirt, Britney Spears. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely adore Britney Spears. I've been obsessed pretty much my entire life. And honestly, I'm wondering, Funko, what took so long you've been doing these like pop uh, rock legends for a while but i finally got my britney i'm hoping that they expand she has so many iconic looks that they can go through but naturally where it all began is right here with baby one more time so i'm just glad we finally have this funko pop and i'm so glad to have it myself that is my entire Funko Pop collection. What did y'all think of the pops I have? Do you have any of the same Funkos that I have or collect any of the same franchises that I have here in my collection? I know there are Funko Pop collectors who have like hundreds of these babies. So my collection is still fairly small compared to most, but I thought I would share it because I do really enjoy collecting them and I just got my Britney, so I was super excited about it. Share pictures of your Funkos, your favorite Funko Pops with me on Twitter or over on Instagram and leave comments down below with what your favorites are within your own collection. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!